them to Granary Cemetery and have a cold Sam Adams next to a cold Sam Adams. <laughs> All right, here they come, the big guns. Early, Washington. This Cox is being extremely wise. He's not trying to split the buoys because the boat's going fast. And these big empockers are hard to bring around the corner. So this is the University of Washington. They were semi-finalists at the Henley Royal Regatta. They're fourth at the IRA. They won here last year. Their coach, Mike Callahan, has consistently produced great crews. They are, of course, the University of the Boys in the Boat. And there they go through, and they have got their time so far on the green of Dartmouth. There we go. Well done, Washington Huskies. And now we have the green of Dartmouth. Wyatt Allen's groups. Wyatt Allen came to Dartmouth three or four years ago. No one had remembered who they were. They are now a force to be reckoned with. They're all sculling in the fall. They're all learning how to pull year-round, and they are doing a great job. Nice job, Coxon, too, going around that corner. Three the Bulldogs of Yale, dominant for years. A uh, terrific program by Steve Gladstone. But right behind them, gaining their time, is the U.S. team. This is a combination of athletes from the men's eight both at the World Championship and the Men's Eight at a Canada Cup. And they are now thinking, where are we gonna cross? Where are we gonna try to get that team from Yale? Okay, and both Yale and US have made their time on Washington, on Harvard. I am personally sorry to see, but this is a great program, the other side of the river. And uh, stroke by Clark Dean, who is a Tokyo Olympian and a multiple junior world champion. Great program with Charlie Butt. And behind them, bow number six, Cuse. Cuse has made up their time on Harvard. Cuse is now a real contender in the IRAs. They're rowing three beats lower than Harvard and still making up time. And they've opened up a big gap on yeah, the next I'm, crew on the Bruno Brown University in bow number seven. Brown was third last year in the IRA championship. Uh, always very capably coached by uh, uh, da, da, Paul Cook. And again, sporting the color of the fall blue. Followed by NU, our local club. Uh, North Houston University, great program over many years, historic program under Ernie Arlett. Nice cadence there. They have, they're holding their place. They're definitely holding their way through this course. Now nine is and now we have Princeton following Northeastern. Princeton with the, the Tigers of Princeton, their trademark blades, the blue shirts, and what does they say? Uh, rowing for change is on these shirts. Um, uh, being Princeton, are they talking about Wall Street or are they talking about change of society? Who knows? But it's, they're moving on. And now we have the Harvard second boat coming on. Champ 8 B boat. And they've done well against the Tigers. And they've got some distance behind them on what I'm going to assume are other B boats behind them. Harvard boat rowing a bit lower cadence than the Clark Dean boat. Same shirts, consistent. The big thing at Harvard now is to wear black, which is, I'm not sure. What and behind about. them is a battle on the buoy line. We We've love this, and that's got to be the Naval Academy with the yellow. Yep, they're holding their own, and they're forcing uh, bow number 12, which is Yale, to come around closer to the Cambridge Boat Yale's Club. Taking so taking a long turn here. Here's Navy lining up here. Navy with their blades. And Yale, the Bulldogs, inside them. Let's hear it for both crews, and let's hear it for Navy. These guys are going to be protecting us. Okay, and now bow number 13, another Dartmouth crew. Lovely green deck on that boat. Um, and this is their JV, which meddled in the IRAs for the last two years, coming around. And now, bow number 14, we're seeing the BU crew. And this is, I'm reading now from the brochure, the top entry in the regatta for BU. Um, nice looking crew, Tom Bohr, their coach, highly respected, long-term program. 
And the other red is coming down now in bow number 15. That's the University of Wisconsin. This is their men's varsity eight. Really doing a nice and job here. this is here. a new look for Wisconsin. The first time I've ever seen them in Empocker, and I've never seen them in black. The Badgers are changing their ways. Let's go, Wisconsin. And they look like they're holding their own, about even spacing, probably near the start for Brown University. Yeah, this is their right. second entry. Yep. This is the Brown University. Great program down on the Seekonk. Tough water much of the year. Great coaching. Okay. Yep. All right. So now we see in... Uh, Ukrainian national team charging on Penn. Okay. So Penn, 17 here, white hull, blue and red blades, and which is great. And right behind them, let's hear it from the bridge. This is Ukraine, the Ukraine team. All right, Ukraine. Represent Ukraine. And they are doing a fabulous job. A fabulous job. Welcome to Boston, Ukraine. And that is great. And thank you to Sean Colgan for bringing them here. And bow number 20 out in front first right here bow is bow number, number 20 from uh, Leander from Great Britain using a BU boat. But this is Leander, a great club. Five of this crew won the ladies' challenge fight. Second top plated Henley. And they've pushed the Danish crew uh, from uh, bow number 19, just a little bit wide, but uh, both clear through the arch right now. So that's fantastic. An international Whoa, one, two, no. three uh, through the bridge. I didn't I hear any scrapes, but I think they're, <laughs> I don't see them on the other side yet. Yep, yeah, I they do. Made it through. They made it through and with all their blades. Okay, a little gap after the internationals. Maybe we got some more internationals here. Okay, bow 21, we're using uh, Boston College equipment, is Minerva Rowing Club of the Netherlands. This is the Royal Dutch Student Rowing Federation that allows young, talented rowers to compete at international regattas. And they... That's Minerva in the red boat, and in the white boat, Ellen. The Canadian crew, the British Columbia, bow 22, so they're trying to overtake 21. They couldn't get quite through them before the bridge, but they're in luck because the next turn is back over to the starboard side, so they may be well set yeah. up to overtake they them. set up for the next turn, which is a steep turn. And that's the University of British Columbia, who are the 2021 Canadian champions. We are now followed by Princeton's B-Boat. <clears throat> which is uh, working hard and just ahead of Stanford. Welcome, Stanford. So, Princess B-Boat, Stanford's A-Boat, we assume. Great challenge here. In the Stanford boat is a U.S. Peter Chayton, who's a U.S. U-23 silver medalist. And uh, they're going to have a little crossover under that bridge. Now, Northeastern second boat is here. Yellow boat, Northeastern blades black. Terrific job. And behind them come the first of the lightweight entries. Really? Yes, that would Yale. be the Yale crew. All right. This is the Yale University lightweight crew. And they have stepped out on their lightweight brethren in a big-time way. Go catch the big guys, you lightweights. Nice job. Yeah, there you go. So they're almost catching the tail end. They're within cannot, striking we distance. We cannot see almost the next one. Yeah, These are lightweights. As Ellen said, they're all the same weight. They should go more or less the same speed. <laughs> But it's a real tactical race and that, that mental fortitude. It's a great feeling to come through this bridge without seeing any competitors behind you. You know you're off to a great finish, possibly even a win, but that Yale crew looked incredible. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, Coach Andy Card. Okay. Now, more traditionally, here is Cornell, always a lightweight force. With uh, in boat number two, that's the white boat with the red tip blades right behind are the Tigers of Princeton. They, the Cox, you notice, of Cornell is wisely looking at her stern. Beautiful job by the Cornell Coxon. The Princeton fans up here are going crazy as the Cornell Coxon has aced the turn. Princeton has now got to take it up a couple of beats and cross over. That, that was, that was a, a serious move. execution. And a power 10. They took that rating up, and it's not easy to gain seats on the outside of that corner, but they did. Yeah, that well was done. an exciting, elegant move. Okay, and now it looks like a Dartmouth crew. 
Yeah, you know, power number four, Green Blades of Dartmouth wow. coming up. But six is putting pressure on them. Only. And they have pressure from the Naval Academy. Big time pressure from the Naval Academy, which is second last year at the IRA. So here's Dartmouth in the white and the green behind the Naval Cadets. And the Navy Academy has already gone through bow number five at Princeton, so that's got to feel good. Now they're out. And then behind there is Princeton's B-boat rowing for change, and they are rowing a nice line. And, uh, and then followed by Penn. Penn, bow number seven. Nice job. And then Harvard on their heels. That's bow number eight. Harvard's lightweight 1V on the heels of Penn. And having gapped a bit on their next competitor, which by blade cover looks like Georgetown. Yep. Oh, we have uh, with contact ahead. on the bridge. Everyone looks okay, but we have only we three only starboard have, uh, oars in three that pen starboard crew. Starboard oars in the pen crew going forward. Well, it is the final port turn, so I guess they're in luck. And this is Georgetown, the Black Hull and the Gray Blades. Great program, rowing on the Potomac. Georgetown lightweights. Okay, now up on the inside of the buoys. Huh, not maybe as close as the outside crew would prefer is Harvard's second boat uh, coming up with the white shirts and Harvard red bla crimson blades. But and MIT, MIT follows working very hard on the outside, started two boats behind Harvard and is moving on them. Nice job, MIT. Now MIT is set up for the next quarter. Yeah. Nothing Go they tech. would like better than to break through Go that bow Badgers. of the Harvard crew, but it'll be a hometown battle into that final corner. Beavers. Go Beavers. Go Beavers. And I apologize. Yeah. Okay. And then Penn's B boat coming here. And having seen the first Penn boat, this makes me nervous, Ellen, with this Penn boat. Okay, Penn, let's work that turn. That's it. Nice and then job. And coming now, up next, the tightest pack of this event. We've got bow 12, bow 12 followed by 14. White with the blue shirts. Followed by 15. Is oh, sorry, 13. 13. That's the might. That's the hens of Delaware. And then followed right behind them by 14. Jordan Look at Payne, this line, bow 14. Which is uh, Kolner of Germany, followed right behind, but the Naval Academy. And the Academy Naval Academy have boat. had to make Naval a quick Academy decision. Looks like they're going Not to the sure it's going to work out for them, but it is legal. Uh, it's legal. It, uh, crabs don't help, but okay. Now get around that turd Navy. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, Can't say that.